It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. This is going to be a very powerful week of change. We have a solar eclipse and a new moon, so it is promising to be uh, very interesting. All right, so let's get started. What do we have for Aries for the week of... December 14th through the 20th. What do we have for Aries? One card, please. This is an overall energy. For Aries. For this very powerful week. Six of Wands. Six of Wands crossing the finish line by the looks of things. This person is crossing the finish line. Something is ending. It's over. Okay, you did it. You did it. This is victory. It's been rough. Okay, so this is uh, persevering. You know, your perseverance has paid off. Congratulations. But this is the end of something. Okay, because this is, it's, it's over. You did it. Okay, you did it. Um, this is a win. It's a win. So there's, there's a, there's, this is a congratulations of some sort. You may even be getting some public recognition this week. You see all the people, there's people supporting you, a lot of public recognition. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think you're going to be publicly recognized for your hard work. Okay. I see a lot of hard work here. So what do we have? One card, please. And if it's not public rep recognition, it could just be support or you, you know, I feel, I feel as though you are going to be, it's almost like on top of the world, you know, with this victory of some sort. This is a victory. So there it is. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You will be celebrating with another person. Like it doesn't mean that you're going on a honeymoon. It could be, but I, I don't think that's the case. This is about, you know, celebrating with somebody that you love. There is wings here. Interesting. There's angel wings. So you do have some sort of protection here. Um, you've earned this victory. Okay. Something. You've reached the finish line. It's time to relax. Time to relax. Celebrate your victory. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Aries? A couple of cards, please. Oh, there's a couple. I think we'll take those. Lion. Time to act. Time to take action. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. So you're going to be, you're definitely getting some sort of gain. And I think it comes from your actions. It comes from your previous actions. You may be also taking action this week to obtain a victory, you know. Maybe you've been training or you've been getting ready and now it's time. It's time. So what do we got for Aries this week? Ooh. The devil reverse is breaking free, okay? You may have been in a deep, dark place, okay? There's been some sort of uh, codependency here, but this is breaking free from something, breaking free from something that is unhealthy. Could be a bad habit, could be an addiction, could be a person. Definitely headed in the right direction. Now, this is a card of ego, so this is, this is, uh, maybe coming out of ego because it's reverse. It's breaking free. 
Good, I see that victory. They're making progress. You are really, really making progress. This is like severing ties with something. You must free yourself from something. What? What do they need to free themselves from? There is freedom here with it reversed. So there is some sort of freedom. The hermit. My goodness. Now this is a Jesus consciousness. Becoming wide awake. Going within to reevaluate your life. Realizing your true identity. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge here. A lot of wisdom. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. They have... Somebody may be going their own way, you know, because this is a very independent energy, which is interesting. But this and this is a, this is a freedom, freedom from a unhealthy situation. You are free. You are free. You have it's over this this codependent situation that you have been in. Or this uh, thing that you have been slave to is over, okay? Whatever it is. Now, the hermit is a time of reflection, a need, needing time to heal, needing time to reflect on your future. You will need time to reflect on your future. You may be coming up with another plan. You may be realizing something about yourself. I think you are. You may be realizing how strong you are or how you were tied to something that was unhealthy. And it could be ego, it could be greed, it could be materialism, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, whatever it is, this is unhealthy. But this is this is breaking free, seeing things differently. It really is. The hermit is enlightenment. Somebody's becoming enlightened. You, 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 you probably are going to need to go within this week. Ace of Cups reverse. There's some sort of emotional discontent here. You've just finished something or you're going to finish something, but it, it may be bittersweet. It may be bittersweet. You know, it may be a bittersweet victory. You know, the Ace of Cups reverse is emotional blockage, emotional shutdown, heartache even. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, doesn't have to be. could be dealing with a Leo. I do, I mean, with the Ace of Cups reverse, that's emotional... You know, it's a very emotional time. You may be you may be crying. You may be feeling very emotional. You know, when you when you see something differently, you may you may you know, you may affect your emotions. And this is seeing something differently. It really is. You know, for some of you, the, the Ace of Cups reverse is a one-sided situation. It's like there's somebody may not have been acting. Now, this is greed and, and materialism, and this is love. So it's interesting. Somebody may have bit let materialism get in the way of love. And this is becoming enlightened. But this is emotional discontent. So this is this is this is a uh, emotional shutdown or tears, crying. There could be some tears that are being shed over being set free. You know, it could be. You know, I don't know. I mean, that's freedom, and there is freedom here. Some sort of struggle is over, but <laughs> definitely, okay. Um, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is despair. Okay, it is. It's despair. It's anguish. Anguish. It's worry. It's depression. There could even be some regrets here. Somebody may have some regrets. Ten of 
Ten of Wands reversed. That's making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change. They need balance in their lives. This is dropping something, dropping a burden, dropping baggage, letting it go, letting something go. This could even be a collapse, okay? Um, can't do it anymore. I think that you you may you may be be having some anxiety this week, or you're very. I feel like there's regrets. I feel like there's some sort of regrets seeing things differently. I feel like you're going to be seeing something differently, okay? I do because that hermit is is enlightenment. It's becoming aware. You know, I think that you're going to be reflecting on some sort of toxic behavior. All right. There could even be with that nine of swords, but oh my God, how did I not, you know, why did I, how did I not see or something like that? Uh, you are definitely freeing yourself from something with that 10 of wands reversed or you're being freed. Somebody could be let go. I'm just being honest. I mean, I hate to, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there is a conscious change that, that is being made. Maybe you're making a conscious change to become more emotionally connected. There's a lack of emotion here with that Ace of Cups reversed, or it's overly emotional. It could go either way. But I feel like you are about to cross a finish line. Some, that's the end of something, okay? It is. Finish means end. So something is coming to an end. You've been working on this for a while. It's coming to an end. You're going to be broken free from something. I do feel like it is bittersweet. I do. You may be feeling fearful. You could be feeling fearful because this is a change of some sort. It's over. You're not going to be doing that anymore. Knight of Wands, act now, think later. And that is time to act as well. It is time for you to take action. You're going to be doing something um, very, very quickly. You're going to make a, it feels like a sudden decision. Yeah, sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So the Knight of Wands takes action. Usually, you know, just do it. You're going to be doing something probably without thinking. And my advice is to is to do it because there's a lack of emotional content here. I think that there's somebody that is going to, uh, and whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. We have a very uh, wise individual here who has, who has a lot of knowledge that has been thinking, definitely thinking. And now it's time to stop thinking and take action. Act now, think later. You've thought about this enough. You've done all the work that you need to do. It's definitely time for you to break free from something that is not healthy for you. It's not love. You don't love it, whatever it is, because of that Ace of Cups reversed. There's sadness here. There's sadness with that nine of swords. There is. There's sadness over letting go or being let go or the ending. There's sadness over the ending. You may even have somebody around you that is sad. You could. You could have somebody here that is sad. They're sad that, I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're upset. Maybe they're upset. Um, I feel like it is time for you to enjoy Enjoy time with your partner. Enjoy time with somebody you love. Take a break. Take time to heal from this ordeal that you have been engaged in. I think it's time for you to heal. I think it's time for you to go within. It's time for you to plan your next move. I feel like um, there's been a loss of emotional content and it's time for you to take action to... Uh, bring emotional content into your life and that may mean that you have to make a conscious change and face your fears 
or face your own demons, okay? Because this is demons and this is fear. So it's really like it's like you gotta face your demons. And for some of you, your demons are materialism, greed, lust, codependency. You know, could be an addiction of some sort. I mean, with that devil card, you need to face those demons, whatever they are. Um, I do feel like you are about to um, finish up something in your life that has been very emotionally draining okay you've been you've been drained you've been a drain and maybe it's even affected your heart okay um i feel like this this cycle is about to end i feel like uh it's time it's time for you to drop this weight to drop this baggage to drop this burden and uh, go within and realize your true identity. And I feel like this week you are going to be realizing your true identity. I feel like there is some sort of situation that helps you to realize, you know, who you have become. It's like almost like you're not the same person that you used to be. But breaking free from that old reality isn't easy. So anyway... Uh Aries, the time is now for you to take action, okay? Stop thinking and just, and just, uh, if you need to break free from something, if you need to sever ties, then do it. Just do it. Your balance is waiting with that ten of, ten of wands reversed. This is freeing yourself, freeing yourself from a toxic situation. That's what's happening. King of Swords reversed. So there's a need to listen to your heart. Really pay attention to your heart this week. I feel like there's been some sort of abuse, neglect, abandonment, um, selfishness. Maybe even belittling. Somebody has been belittled. Somebody hasn't been logical. Or they've been overly logical. They've, they've, they've listened to their head so much that they've ignored their heart. There's a need to listen to your heart. To follow your heart. To look at things from a new perspective. And that's what this week is about. This week is about seeing things from another perspective and maybe feeling guilty or ashamed or something like that. We all have demons, every single one of us. So anyway, I feel like I feel like this week is a week of discernment for you. And you may be emotional, you may be you may have tears. I don't know if they're tears of, you know, well, it's sadness. I do believe it's sadness with these two cards. There's been some sort of abuse here with the King of King of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is hard, cold, and uncaring. So we have a, and I don't know if it's a father figure or what. It doesn't have to be, but it's somebody who is very cold and uncaring and shallow. We have a very shallow individual who. Uh, is needing to let go of that complex, like needing to, you know, maybe you need to drop this person. Maybe some of you are hanging on to another person that is cold and uncaring. There's definitely going to be a realization this week. There is. And this realization is going to cause you to take action. Somebody has abused their power. When you get the King of Swords, they've abused and reversed. Somebody's abused their power. We could have an absent father here. This person, it doesn't have to be a father, it could be 
husband, could be a boss, could be you. This is somebody that is lacking integrity, maybe power crazed, maybe cold and abusive. That it, this person, and it could be somebody else, this person is being let go. They are being let go. They may be, they may be freed from their obligations. Because that Ten of Wands reverse is letting go, being dropped. You have a very cold, uncaring individual that is going to be experiencing emotional discontent. And I don't know if it's you or another person. Could be both. There's feeling ashamed as well. Somebody is ashamed. They are ashamed. They are ashamed of their toxic behavior, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Anyway, this is a week of re identification. Going within. And planning your next move. Because whatever you have been working on. Is over. Okay. That, that finish line is crossing. That's over. It's over. It's time for you to uh, start focusing on something else. Anyhow Aries. Uh. So yeah, this is a week of, uh, it's actually a week of victory because of that first card. It's a week of being recognized. You know, this is actually a win, a win, 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 win situation. But now you have to put something behind you. That's over. It's over. Something is over. And it has to do with uh, a very unhealthy situation, okay? It does. Something has happened that has made you wiser, okay? It has. With an individual that... And maybe it was you, I don't know. We have a very cold-hearted individual here that is basically waking up. Because this is an awakening. It really is. They are waking. It's a, it's a week of waking up to true, who you truly are. Good luck.